Hello everyone, I hope you're feeling okay because I am today. My name is Rakaya Mixon and I'm back again with another virtual video for everyone. Okay, so this week is Nature Week. Nature Week is basically just appreciating the physical world such as plants, the animals, and even ourselves. We are a big part of keeping nature going and being green and a whole other bunch of stuff. So the theme of this week is stuffed animal show and tell. Since we've been cooped up in the house due to the coronavirus pandemic and we may not be able to physically um, interact with animals, how about you just show me the animals that are in your home or show off the animals that are in your home? So... Right now, I have a few of my furry friends that I love and want to share with you. Today's objective is to do a show and tell. Many of you may be familiar with show and tells in school, and if not, that's perfectly okay. I am here to show you how it's done. Growing up, I always thought show and tell was so cool and it was one of my favorite things to do because you get something that's so special um, to you and you get to show it to your classmates. But since we aren't in school physically or have anybody really to show, if you're at home with mom or dad, or your siblings, or friend, or even if it's just your lonesome just like me, you can do your own show and tell right at home with your very own stuffed animals. Okay, so a show and tell usually is done in a circle. Right now, um, I am by myself, as I mentioned. So it's going to be me and my stuffed animals um, creating a circle. So I can give you the feel of how a circle, um, a show and tell is done with actual people in a group. Okay, so step two, find your favorite furry animals. You see, I have a lot with me. Many are mythical also, but that's okay. It's a stuffed animal. <laughs> the main purpose of having show and tell in a circle is to have everyone hear and see each other clearly. Also, um, a circle is way more effective because it makes people feel more closer. All right, so I guess we can begin now. <laughs> Always remember, it is very important to listen to others in a show and tell. But once it is your turn, it is your special moment. This is your chance to talk passionately about something that is very dear to your heart. And in that case, these are our stuffed animals. So if you are at home and you have your own stuffed animals, I think it would be very cool if you were to go grab your own really quick. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of time as you're watching this right now to go grab your stuffed animal. Okay, I hope you've grabbed your stuffed animals. If you do not have stuffed animals with you currently, it's all right. You can just enjoy the video along with me. I thought it was important to grab your stuffed animals so you can enjoy the show and feel like you're physically with me. So, there we go. Now, we can start the activity. So I decided to tap into my childhood again and put the stuffed animals in their own circle so they can have their own show and tell. But I'll be doing the talking, introducing them to you. So thank you to my little sister for letting me use her stuffed animals for this video. And my own. <laughs> All right. This is Princess Tiana. You may know Princess Tiana from the Princess in the Fog, the movie, the Disney, the Disney movie. She is a Disney princess, and I personally enjoyed her um, movie very much. I was probably around your age, meaning like 10 if you're watching this, or younger, like in that age gap. 
when that movie came out and I felt like it was so nice to have someone you know that looked like me in a movie like her movie was just very cool and I'm a big fan of all the Disney princesses so yeah then we have a seahorse I'm not sure when my sister got this seahorse but um, it looks pretty cool. It's orange, red, and yellow. I think seahorses are very cool, especially male seahorses, because they are the ones that carry instead of the woman when they um, when it comes to childbirth. So I think that is very cool. And if you don't know that fact, how about you find that out? Because it is major week, <laughs> even though they live in the ocean. Okay, then we have the twin monkeys from Las Vegas. My parents actually bought this back from their mini vacation in Las Vegas as a gift to us. So we have a pink monkey and it says, welcome. Fabulous Las Vegas. I can't really read the section at first, but that's what it says. It even comes with its own little glasses, which is really cool. Let's see. <laughs> I can't really get it, the sunglasses down, but you get the full effect. <laughs> okay. These are actually um, tied together. They have like a strap on them, which is really cool because it's easy to carry around. And this, oh my gosh, this monkey is just so, so, so soft. So I'm trying to reattach their hands to show you, but I don't know how to do it. All right, um, this purple monkey is really cool also. It doesn't have sunglasses, but to me, it's just as cool. All right, on to the next one. This is actually mine. This is a graduation beer that I got once I graduated from my high school. You see the little beer has its own diploma in front of it, which is so cute, and, <laughs> and the little hat. I think this beer is very nice and it's a sentimental gift. So this probably would be my favorite one to include in this video. And that's the purpose of show and tell to show um, your stuffed animal that is special to you. This one would be special to me because a family member got it for me along with flowers. And I just will forever remember this because it reminds me of my graduation. All right. Yeah, and graduation is a big accomplishment in life. <laughs> Any graduation. Uh, okay. Now we have Olaf. Ooh. <laughs> All right. So Olaf is definitely a fan favorite when it comes to um, the Disney movies. So Olaf is from Frozen. I remember Frozen was really big when I was in middle school, so... Um, his character always was, like, one of my favorites because, like, just his personality is so funny. All right, so I'm going to show you Olaf. There we go. This is one of my little sister's favorites. <laughs> All right. Now we have this big pink unicorn. Personally, I love how big it looks. Like it just looks so like <laughs> nice and I just love the colors. It's very bright, vibrant. I think my little sister actually won this somewhere. I mean, I'm not particularly sure, but I'm pretty sure she did. She is obsessed with unicorns. She has a bunch of unicorns in her room. So this is just pretty cool, like the way it's just, you know, set up in the colors. So I'll show you. I don't know, up close it doesn't really look like a unicorn because it is a stuffed animal, but it just 
very cool. Even the hair, like the mohawk, is very nice. Then we have a lamb. And if you're familiar with the <laughs> nursery rhyme, Mary had a little lamb um, as white as snow. <laughs> I think this is very cool. This stuffed animal is very soft. I think having a smaller um, stuffed animal is really cool, but they're very easy to lose, but they are very enjoyable. It's very cute. And it has a little bow and everything. That's why it reminded me of the nursery rhyme, Mary Had a Little Lamb. And then, last but not least, we have this. It's so cute. I love how um, certain stuffed animals look. Like the big eyes to me is just very cute. I'm not sure if he has any. I was trying to look for one, but I can't find it. Anyways, this is another little um, stuffed animal that's very cool. It reminds me of a Pomeranian a little bit, just like the fur and everything. But these are my stuffed animals that I want to introduce to you all and show how it's done having a show and tell. You put... Um, everyone in a circle and then one by one you introduce them tell them why they're special to you and then that's it so thank you for tuning in to my stuffed animal show and tell hopefully you can have one that is just as great as mine <laughs> i wanted to show you all step by step how i created this on my very own stuffed animal show and tell in my own bedroom. All right, so first you grab your desired stuffed animals. I grabbed one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, what's after seven, you guys? Eight. <laughs> so I grabbed eight stuffed animals. I thought eight would be a great number because it is an even number and it's not too many and I could put them in a little circle. However, it's your show and tell. You can do what you want and have as many stuffed animals as you want in it. All right, step two. Set them up in a circle. I decided to use my dresser to hold them up. Well, Olaf can, you know, as you can see, sit up by itself. But the other ones, I wasn't so sure. So just in case, I did set them up against my dresser. But we have one, the unicorn. There we go. Oops, one, the unicorn. Then we have Olaf, number two. Okay. Then we have my teddy bear, number three. Then we have Merry Little Lamb, <laughs> number four. Then we have this one, number five. Then we have the monkeys. Since they are together, I do include them as one. Six, since they came together, they're included as one number. <laughs> then we have seven, the sea fours. And then we have eight, Princess Tiana. So I thought this was a cute little circle to do the show and tell in. All right, step number three. Step number three was showing off and introducing, as I did in my last video, the stuffed animals. See, three easy steps and just you explaining, it's all you have to do right from home, nice and easy.
thank you all for tuning into my video. I genuinely appreciate it. It gave me a chance to step into my childhood and show you all through my creativity what I can do and what I can show you so you can have fun in your home. Thank you. Have a nice night.